Hello everybody, this is The Lone Coder, and welcome to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can deploy your very first React app with a hosting service known as Netlify. If this is your first time ever deploying a React app, or any kind of app for that matter, this is going to be fairly easy for you. Netlify is very intuitive to use, it's not very difficult at all, and I'm going to walk you through it step by step. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up a terminal. If you are on Windows, I'm going to assume that you're using either the VS Code terminal or um, Windows subsystem for Linux or something like that, maybe even a Git bash. If you're on Linux or Mac OS, then you'll have this built into your system. And to start out, we're just going to create a very basic React app. Um, the actual app isn't the point of the video, so we're going to kind of rush through it. The point is just to show you how to deploy it to Netlify. So in order to create a React app, we're going to use npx create dash react dash app and then we're just going to name it something like um react deploy i'm going to hit enter and that's going to start creating our react app and go to hit okay and i'm going to skip forward to when this is finished okay so as you can see our react app is done being set up npx has run the create react app command and we have all this output here and at the end it says happy hacking showing that our react app is ready to go so I'm going to open our new React app with VS Code. So I'm going to CD into that. What do we call it? Um, React deploy. Yeah. And I'm just going to type in code and dot for the current directory. So first I'm going to go into the source folder and go into app.js. Everything should be set up for us, but um, I'm going to delete everything inside of the app component. I'm just going to add an H1 that says um, Netlify test. And actually, I'm just going to wrap this inside of a React fragment to avoid those errors. So wrap that like this. And then I guess I'll just, um, I don't know, put an image. Uh, since we already have that React logo imported up here, I will just use that for the source. And this is going to look extremely ugly, but that is not the point. And so I'm going to save that and then go into the terminal and then run npm start. And that will start up the development server. So as you can see, this is open. I'm just going to zoom out a bit. And yeah, it's ugly, but it is a legitimate React app. I'm just going to add a couple more things just so you can see that it is functional as we deploy it. So I'm going to do something like uh, below this H1, I'm going to add an H2. And inside of that, we're going to just do the very common uh, technique of having a count state and then um, updating it with a button. And so up here, we're going to have to import um, use state from the React library. So we're going to do import, and inside of curly brackets, we're going to do use state, and that'll be from React. Then at the top of our app component, we are going to say um, const count and set count are equal to use state, and we're going to initialize that state to zero. Then inside of the h2, we are going to embed that count variable in here, and then just below it, we're going to add a button and it's just going to say um, increment count. Then we're going to add the event listener, which will be on click and that will be an arrow function. And inside of it, we're just going to do set count and then pass in the previous state and then return that state incremented by one. So let's go ahead and save that, go back to the browser and we can see that this is incrementing just fine so that's done and now in order to deploy this i'm going to open a new tab and go to netlify.com and here you can just click sign up up here so i'll do that very quickly and you can sign up with github gitlab bitbucket or email i'm going to do it with github so i just finished setting up my new profile i don't have a profile on this account yet so this is just how it's going to look when you set up your profile so if you scroll down a bit where you can see sites you have three options to deploy a site you have import an existing project from github or git you can start from one of netlify's templates or you can deploy manually and that's what we're going to do so you can see here it says drag and drop your site output folder here or browse to upload and what that means is we're going to have to run the build command for our react app and then that will output a folder called build and then we're going to drag and drop it into Netlify. So to do that, let's go to our terminal and we're going to stop the development server and then inside of our React app, we're going to run the command npm run build and that will run the React script that will create the build folder for our application. So we're going to hit enter and as you can see, it's running the React script and it says creating an optimized production build. So now if we 
stay in this react deploy folder and then we run ls we can see that now we have a directory called build and so i'm just going to close the terminal open up my file explorer and i'm going to go to um, react deploy and i'm just going to drag and drop this build folder into netlify and as you can see it says uploading and please don't refresh so that means that it is deploying and then we're given this random id generated by netlify it says animated something and so now this is actually deployed so i'm going to click on this link here that will link to our app and as you can see this is actually live i'm not on a local development server or anything like that you can see the url here if we wanted to, we could connect a custom domain. As you can see here, it says to set up a custom domain. Then you can um, add an SSL certificate and that kind of thing. But this is a real React app deployed on that flight. And as you can see, everything is still working how it did on our development server. So that is basically how you can deploy your own React app with Netlify in just a matter of minutes. It's super easy. And Netlify is a great tool for you to practice deploying apps and such. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to like and subscribe. I'm a fairly new channel with only a few videos at present, but there's going to be a lot more coming out very soon. So you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned. I'm gonna have a ton of React content coming up. So if you don't wanna miss it, hit that subscribe button. And also be sure to hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever I have new videos, which is going to be very soon. So with all that said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.